and talk to Chandra about it. We are back with life coach and author Chandra Alexander, and we are taking your calls at 1-800-664-8808. And during the break, Chandra, we were talking about the fact that it doesn't matter what your financial situation is. That's not an excuse for not celebrating a birthday or an anniversary. It's the little things that count. Well, I, I think that in a final analysis, if you're, you're not getting the big gifts, I think you'll take any gift. You know, sometimes <laughs> it's, it's the little heartfelt gifts right. that are not picked up at a store that mean the most, I right. think. That means they were out walking, they picked a flower. That means they were thinking about you. Well, I have a, a, a client who said to me, um, I told my boyfriend that if on this year anniversary, if he could just write a letter about, we could exchange letters about all the things that we really like about one another why we've chosen to be with one another. She said, I'm just, she said, that's really what I want. She said, all the other stuff, she said, he can go and buy and do, but to spend that little bit of time and to write that, mm. it's, it's just very endearing. I just think that these occasions are an opportunity to kind of just stretch a little bit. You know, we get so caught up in everyday life, running and going and doing, that to, to take a little time and to just really focus on somebody that you care about, it means so much. It means a lot to me when someone does it for me. I'm thinking the best gift I could ever get from my husband is not something that he could buy. It would be waking up maybe on my birthday and having a real massage. And I don't mean him laying there. This is the <laughs> massage I get now. He reaches out with one hand while he's still laying on his back and rubs my shoulder. That's not a massage. No. Yeah, because you know what happens after a while. He falls asleep. Forget yeah. it. You get rope burn. <laughs> you get rope burn. Have you ever had somebody keep massaging you in the in same one way? Spot? Yeah, yeah it's, it, it's like you got to give them like a little, hey. Right. Get with the program here, you know. So, so there's something. It doesn't cost anything. Learn how to give a massage if you're not really up on that. Get off your back. Use two hands. And that, I'm telling you, would be probably one of the best gifts I could ever get from my husband. Right. Maybe I should be reminding him of that, right? right? Because how's he going to read my mind? <laughs> right, Chandra? If you don't well, verbalize? Well, I, I, I had a very good friend say to me a while ago. She said, you know how to get the things you want in life, Sean? I thought. I know this. I'm a life coach. What can anybody tell me? You know, I said, well, sure. How? She said, you have to ask. That's and true. I thought, isn't that a wonderful thing? You have to ask. Now, what happens when you ask, you have to make yourself somewhat vulnerable. You have to let someone see you care. Mm. You have to let someone see that it's important to you. It's not like, hey, if you want to do it, fine. If you don't want to do it, fine. It's not that. You have to reach out and you have to ask. And you have to be willing to say, you know what? This is really important to me. You know what I would love on our next special day? I would love a massage. And if you don't want to give that to me, if you could just give me a little receipt to go, sure. that would be terrific. That works, too. We've got Ronnie on the phone from Tampa. Good morning, Ronnie. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I, I just had a, a question about how sure. I handled something at one point. Um, on the, our 25th wedding anniversary, um, my husband totally forgot it. Oh, I'm very sorry. Yeah, and, um, of course, since then, subsequent anniversaries have been forgotten as well. Um, but what I did was there was nothing nothing planned. I mean, as far as I was concerned, this was a big one. And What's your question? Well, I took off and I went to my girlfriend's house. Okay. Did and I spent the weekend there. Okay. <laughs> and when I got home, he still didn't realize that he had missed the 25th wedding anniversary. Well, you see, here's the thing. I, I am assuming... And, and you correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm assuming that this is not the only issue in your relationship that you're not happy with. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. So uh, lots of times, you know, we focus on one particular aspect of a relationship that doesn't feel good. But in truth, there are many, many issues that point up the, t the two of you not really being connected and not really caring about one another's feelings. You understand? So to only focus on this 
would be a mistake. Right. My suggestion to you is instead of looking to him, because I'm sure his behavior is somewhat uncaring in other parts of your life as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. You need to look at you. You need to decide if this is what you want to do the rest of your life. I had a client, 83, come to me and say, is it too late for me? I asked her, do you have a breath left? So... You need to decide what you want to do, but this is about you. This is not about him, okay? okay. I wish you the very best. Take okay. care Thank now. You. You're welcome. Bye. And uh, we've all been guilty of having days, dates come and go, and we miss them because we're caught up in life. I know it's no excuse, but put it on your calendar. There's... Put it on your calendar if it's important to somebody else. That's right. That's right. And if you are interested in Chandra's books, her CDs, or would like to sign up for her daily email, you can do that at Chandra's website. It is coachgirl.com. Or you can give Chandra a call at 813-348-9885.